what you may call it, the mage's teleporter. So I have a feeling as long as I find any of them, I'll be automatically activating that village one, and I'll be able to hop back to the village. Oh, cutscene. Have you heard the terrible news? Why, yes I have. Go away. Stormfist Castle was attacked. Everyone living in the castle has their caps lock on. No, it's simply dead. They were butchered. We are doomed, I tell you. Well, I heard rumors about... No, they're not just rumors. The castle was no more. I've come directly from the Dwarven Bread Inn. Oh, I want to go there. Lead me. But there was a man there who swore 200 mages attacked Stormfrisk Castle. He saw with his own eyes. He said, really? Did you know that the trolls... He seems to be changing the subject. Did you know that the trolls attacked the Ducal Guards at the bridge to Alaroth? And you have heard about the Orc Raiders around Alaroth? And there are tales of a mysterious plague. Uh, well. What trolls know, these horrid creatures? I heard that they stand at least the height of two men and smell like sewers in Rivertown on a hot day. Sort of like a cross between rotting fruit and bacon. They say the trolls have invaded the farmlands. We're all doomed! Indeed. Oh. Well, that ended that conversation. I'll have to remember that word for next time. Mm, we have no, like, pointer to the nearest flag or anything like that. So I guess we just have to keep... Mm, yeah, I don't think we want to head up there. So, let's see. Where was that? that that's where we want to go. To the Dwarven Bread Inn. I'll stick to the trail for now. I'm sure I'll have plenty of reason to to vary. Uh, shoot. <laughs> oh, I, I just realized too. You know, I was saying, oh, I wonder if I should walk all the way back to the town. But my, your hair is winter fire, adventurous embers. My heart burns there too. It. Cute. I have my pyramid, so I could hop back there and maybe reactivate the portal. Yeah, why not? Let's do a quick save and do that. Let's not do a quick save. Control. Yes. There we go. I hope Fraps isn't dying again. Yeah, it would be as good a time as any. No, don't need the weapons. Drop and use. Gives me an opportunity to... I don't really need to rest, but what the heck. Gives me an opportunity to check my inventory and all that kind of stuff. So, well-made leather leggings. That's certainly better than the ones we have on, if they're still alive. Oh, maybe they're not. Oh, I must have... I still thought I was wearing those ones I found at the beginning of the game. These actually aren't too bad. Uh, armor 80, 10% chance. These are armor 80, 10% chance. But they have a charm, so we'll leave these ones. Can I open the chest as well? Yes, I can. Cool. Yeah, these are what I thought they were. Okay, so we'll throw these in here. Minus eight to healing. I don't see myself finding much use for that. That's not bad. That's a piece of junk. Destroyed light chain mail. Yeah, I should sell that, really. 6% armor, 5%. 6%. Okay, so these can go in here as well. Um, it's not that heavy. It's slow, but you never know when I'll need that. I'll, I'll carry that around for a while until I find it's getting to be a pain in the butt in my inventory. Uh, we don't need that. We've got this one. Spell scroll. Imagine I have to drop that on the teleporter. Let's just eat this. We got some rope we can throw in there. We'll hold on to the silver key. I can't use it on that. Yes, you can. You just did. Uh, we got this ruby I could sell. Okay, that's good enough. That's emptied out the inventory. Probably should do some repairing soon, too. 
So now here's another way you can lose track of those pyramids. I could go and activate this teleporter and then kind of get distracted and use the teleporter to go somewhere else and now I've lost one of the pyramids. You really have to almost lose both of them because of course if you know where one pyramid is you can just ride it to the other pyramid now you've discovered where they both are. But it's also, oh, where did that stupid thing go? Oh I see it. It's also quite possible that you lose one pyramid and you know where the other one is but it's all the way the heck over the other side of the map. You know, hours of labor just to get there. Ah, and here's, here's the uh, map he was talking about. So, you can see <laughs> how effing huge this world is. We've been playing for how long? And we've covered this right here. And we're just, we've gone down this path here. And we're right about there. And we've got to deal with all this other. <laughs> so, you can see why I said this could be a very long let's play and I might give up before I finish because it's going to be a very long let's play and I might give up before we finish. So it looks like I've got a teleporter in Feral that I can turn on and if we're lucky it will be Elvin. Let's see. Oh, it even says farm farmlands. Oh no. I thought it would say I thought it would say f Elven ruins. Oh, it's it's not telling you what kind of teleporter is it, it is. It's just telling you the location name. All right, so we're set. We're good to go. And that scroll should have disappeared out of my inventory. Oh, no, it didn't. Teleporters of the mages. Oh, I see. You just have to retra retain that scroll, and it will activate the teleporters for you. Okay, so I can't get distracted. I have to go back to the other pyramid. He does seem to be running a little on the slow side, but that just might be me. And head into the basement. And I think it's time for a full save, too. So I will go recover my pyramid. And then do a full save over there. Okay. Full save. What is this place called? I have no idea. Um, the teleporter map told me. Maybe the regular map will mention. Uh, we'll just say Dwarven Bread Inn. That's a good name for the save as any. So, we're going to have to delete some of these soon enough. Not for space, just I, I hate it when I have billions of them. Dwarven Bread. Alright, so let's go find this inn now that I've named my save against it. We seem to be going too far south, actually. Uh, maybe not. We should be seeing a, a path there soon enough. This looks very suspicious, doesn't it? Excuse me while I sniff. I'm going to put you on mute. Yummy, lumpy. Hmm. You're a bad guy. Well, you know, I would have left you let you be, Orc. Oh shite, not these guys again. I am so Pretty sure this guy's really nearly impossible to kill. Yeah, see, every time he hits his drum, he heals himself. And now he's gonna follow me all over the map, I think. Uh, 
see, he, he heals everybody around him actually, not just himself. So you basically, you have to be a high enough level that you can kill him faster than he can heal himself. Oh, did I die? I did die. Okay, well, reload. Let's see if I can do this without attracting his attention. That's the easiest thing to do, is just avoid the stupid things. So we'll cut across land a little bit. They really are a pain. You know, I don't know why they throw them at you so early in the game. Shoot. Damn it. And I don't know how long they follow you for. Well, they don't seem to be following me anymore. Poor citizen. Oh, poor citizen. Back off with that weapon or I'll take it off you and stick you where... Yeah, good luck. You're a mighty warrior by the looks of you. Spare a coin for the weak and the destitute. What's the news? Sewers of Riverton and Vertisa give access to some right odd places, even treasure chambers. I've heard tell I'd go exploring down there, but I'm not a fighter. Uh, I used to be. I'm not the fighter I used to be, and there's horrible things in the sewers. Thank you for your time, friend. So I wonder if he gave him money. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, all the way down here. Dwarven bread in. Let's keep heading that way. So I think clearly this is one of those games where they don't like you carrying your weapon around in town. Are we getting there? Miles to go. 